Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the Expander Sounder Beacon Base. Um, so you can get a Sounder Beacon Base with a red flash, you can get a Sounder Beacon Base with a clear uh, ring that flashes red, and you can just get a Sounder Beacon, uh, just get a Sounder Base as well. And obviously this allows you to have a combined detector and sounder. The main thing to remember with this one is that it will take two addresses. And they're two consecutive addresses on your loop. Um, the address mechanism is done on a dill switch here. And that address is for the detector that you put on top. The sounder will automatically be plus one of this address. So for example, if you address this as number five, you will also take address six on your loop. Okay, so uh, we've powered this up. So there's a four bit dill switch at the top here. The fourth bit is to switch the power on. The third bit is to change the volume. And the other two bits are to change the tone. The tone is already set to an Apollo tone. So if you're already using Apollo tones, then that's fine. Okay, so uh, what else have we got on here? We've also got the log on button for logging this onto the loop, of course. We have the locking mechanism, which is down a hole here. So we can lock the um, uh, detector into its base. Now in the back of the detector, we've got three C size alkaline batteries and three double A size alkaline batteries. Now it still uses the same method of um, power for these, so it alternates between the two battery packs. But obviously it will use the bigger pack when it's actually sounding. And obviously the reason for giving it the bigger battery pack is to give it more amp hours um, throughout its life. And the battery life is still um, three to five years for this device. But what you've got to remember with sounders is that they will be operating on a weekly test, operating through any false activations, and also operating if there's an actual alarm, they have to stay sounding for at least half an hour uh, to the standard. So, um, okay, so we can put this back together, use the arrows uh, that are indicated inside the base, put that back together so we don't get a tamper. Um, we've got... Um, a little location lug on here for putting a safety screw if you want to um, lock those batteries in position so people can't take them out. And also on the top, as I said, if we uh, remove the thin piece of plastic on the outer rim of the base, it goes into a mechanism inside the detector, which is just up here, a little triangular shape there, which will go into that location lock the detector in position. We can remove it by placing a 1.5mm driver or allen key down the hole, pushing outwards and turning. So to get this logged on, again we go to our interface and again you can see our interface, you can see our diagnostic tool, the loop tester, and if we go into add new device, get the device, we press the log on button for three seconds until the light starts flashing underneath. Once the light flashes, uh, we can check the ID code on the interface. We can check the ID code that's on the detector where the barcode is. It corresponds, so we say yes, and we add that device into the loop. We don't do anything else with it until it's added because um, putting the detector on may disturb the communications. Okay, so it's telling me it's added a combi. And if you look at the diagnostic tool, you should see at five and six, we'll get an address. It's going to take a couple of poll ins by the look of it. So it's polling back round again. No, it missed it again that time. Let's see if we can get it this time. There it is. Now if we add our detector on top, that should get rid of any faults. Obviously the blue square means we've got a fault at the moment. There we go. So we're all clear again. 
on that um, device. Now we can go into the sounder if you like, and we can operate. Oops, <laughs> we don't press the button by accident. We can operate the sounder. So that's the end of that um, short demo. We'll uh, carry on with something else on the next video. Subscribe below if you uh, if you want to, and like and comment on the video too. Cheers.